Hey guys, my name is Vlad and this is my new video. This video will be about how to use Lovable AI. It is an AI powered website and app builder. I found this tool quite interesting. That's why I've decided to create a video about it. Basically, Lovable lets you build complete website and web application just by describing what you want in plain English. If you watch my other videos about Firebase Studio or Replit, it's kind of the same thing. But to my surprise, it's working pretty good. Before, I thought Lovable using kind of templates to create a website. But actually, Lovable is writes the real code that you can customize and deploy. It's hold everything from the front-end part to back-end logic. And in this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Lovable. We will start with basic thing and at the end of the video you will have final website that will be published on the internet. If you are ready, then let's get started. To get started, simply open lovable.dev website and then create an account there. By default, you will have free account. You will have five credits there. You can use it to create your first application. If you will lucky enough, five credits will be enough. But if not, then you need to subscribe for pro subscription. That will give you 100 credits plus additional five credits every day. Okay, once you log in, you will end up in this home screen. All you need, simply write the prompt. For instance, I ask Lovable to create a personal portfolio website for software developer. Use a modern clean design with the dark theme and so on. The best practices here is to be descriptive and explain exactly what you want. Keep in mind that with free account, your project will be visible to everyone. That's why for testing purposes, I wouldn't recommend to use any specific private images or anything that you don't want to expose for the public. Together with your prompt, you can attach images. You actually can connect Figma and pass design from Figma together with your prompt. If you will be interested about it, please let me know in the comments below and I will create another video. For now, I'm going to use just simple prompt and send it to Lovable. And as you can see, Lovable is started to build a new website. During the building process, at the left-hand side, you will be able to see what is going on if you notice that something going wrong, you actually can stop Lovable. But in this instance, you will lose one credit. So I would recommend you to wait until it's finished. And after that, adjust the things you don't want to see. So the built-in steps takes up to five minutes. Sometimes it could take longer, depend on the complexity of your project. All you need is right now just waiting. Let me speed up a video a little bit. I don't want to waste your time. Okay. And this is my result for me took around two and a half minutes. As you could see left hand side, Lovable described what it did. And at the right hand side, you will see the preview of your website. And as you could see, it looks really, really good. To be honest, I didn't expect so good result because I have experience with other tools that build in websites, but it was so different. So basically this preview right hand side act like a browser you can click on different links and if the page exists it will load it directly inside this preview so it, it is a working prototype that you can play with you have access to the code if you understand the code you can look the code simply click one of these icon and then lovable will show you the code it looks similar to git diff view and actually my first recommendation will be make sure to connect this project with your Git repository, because in this way, all the code that you will produce will be published on GitHub. Just follow the simple steps, click on view on GitHub and then click connect GitHub button. After that, simply follow the instructions on the screen. Of course, you would need to have GitHub account. So you need to authorize Lovable to use your account. If the first step was successful, you will see the additional pop-up. In this pop-up, you will need to select the organization, simply click add organization, and then follow the instructions on the screen. So Lovable will ask you grant permission to repositories. You can grant permission to all the GitHub account, or you can grant permission to any specific repository. I would recommend you to grant only to specific repository, just for safety reason, and then click Authorize button. After that, enter your password, and then in the additional pop-up, click the Continue button, and after that, click Connect. Then Lovable will ask you to transfer this project into GitHub, it means that GitHub will be a single source of truth, so all the change you will do there, or in Lovable, will be in sync. I think this is an essential step because if you finally don't want to use Lovable, 
you still have access to your code and you continue with your application by using any other tools. To make sure that everything is okay, we can preview the project on GitHub. And as you can see, this is my project. So all the change we are going to do in Lavabell will be inside our GitHub account. Okay, let's go back to Lavabell, close this window, and let's continue improve our project. So now we are open code view. As you can see, this is our folder structure. Unfortunately, with the free account, we don't have access to edit files. We can only view them. In order to edit them, you would need to buy pro subscription. However, to improve the application, we don't need to have uh, edit access. We can use AI chat to improve our application further. Okay. In order to exit from the code view, simply click on this icon. And now we're back to the preview. So now we have two options, how we can edit the project. First, we can select the elements by simply click edit mode and then select the element that we want to edit. For instance, in your preview, if you will hover on different elements, you will see that you have additional menu available. For instance, I select this button. And now I can change the color of the button, the font, the alignment of the font, and so on. If the button not part of the code, you can edit the text as well. But if you cannot edit the text, you can ask AI to do so. Let me slightly change the position for the button just to show you how it's working. If you're happy with the change, you can simply click Save button. It's right here. Or you can click Discard button if you don't want to save the change. Okay, let's try to change these follow me links for social media. This time I'm going to use chat window at the left hand side. I will write down update links to social media and then I will provide the links. And after I finish, hit the enter. And as you could see, the AI successfully changed the link for me. So it's working fine. So we actually have the full control of the layout. We can do it manually, we can change the code if we have paid account, or we can use an AI to do the change. But keep in mind, if you are going to use AI chat too often, you will lose a lot of credits. So on the free account, you will lose it pretty fast. Okay, let me show you another cool feature. Suppose you want to copy the style and formatting of other website. For instance, let's go to Anthropic website. And assume I want to have similar theme style. All I need to do, simply take the screenshot of the page. If you're using Chrome, simply click Ctrl Shift I and click Ctrl Shift P and write command take screenshot and then select from the menu, take screenshot of entire screen. After that, let's take this screenshot and bring it to Lavabell AI. So as you can see, this is a screenshot. Let's go back to Lavabell. Let's drag and drop the screenshot. And now you can write your prompt. You can just say, I want to use the same theme style for my portfolio website. Attach the image and hit the enter. And here we go. This is the updated version. Don't forget to reload the browser. Otherwise you might not see everything applied. And as you could see, now my websites look similar to Anthropic. Of course, it's not exactly the copy, but you can see the color theme, the responsiveness, everything is there. Okay, suppose you've done the change and actually you're not so happy with this version of the project. You can click history icon, then select the version that you like, and then simply click restore this version and Lovable will revert back everything and it will start editing from the version that you like. The good thing is that each reward, each change will be automatically submitted to GitHub. So you can track the change of the project and you always have the history. And once we're satisfied with the result, we can publish our project. In Lovabell, it's so easy and straightforward. Simply click on publish button at the top right corner. Under the free account, you can slightly change the URL address of your website. But if you have paid account. If you have paid subscription, you can set up custom domain name by simply click on custom domain button. Then you will see the pop-up, then add your domain name and follow the instructions on the screen. If you don't have any domain name, don't worry. You still can publish your website, but the URL address probably won't be that pretty. But for testing purposes, it's completely fine. Fill the name you like and then click publish button. And after about a minute, your website will be available on the internet. You will see this pop up and it's mean your website is live. You can copy URL and open it in the browser. And as you see, this is my website just by using simple English language. 
and spent around 15 minutes, I've got this result. I think for developers, Lava Bella AI can be a huge time saver, especially in time when you're developing prototypes or simple static websites that doesn't require a lot of design. And this is just the top of the surface, because actually with Lava Bell you can do much more than this. And if you want to see more videos about Lava Bell, please let me know in the comments below and I will create other useful tutorials about this AI. If you like this video, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your developer friends, and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.